an era where there is so much stimulation all the time, actively participating and saying the words yourself can really help to internalize them. If you grew up hearing blowing in the wind at your parish, you're not gonna be as well off as somebody who grew up hearing Godhead here in hiding and they want some spiritual consolation and they call to mind Jesus' real presence in the Eucharist in a beautiful and poetic and moving manner and they go to adoration and they find their spiritual consolation. It was such a joy for me to work on the Golden Treasures volume to help teachers and students to experience the fullness of the power of these words. Every well-crafted hymn is a complete thought. It's a, it's, it's a complete drama. It's a complete prayer. Every four-part hymn has its words and it has its tune and the tune has its parts. And the happiest thing is when the tune and the words, they seem made for each other. The story of Abide With Me is it was written by Henry F. Light, Francis Light, um, as he was dying. Where is death sting? Where grave thy victory? I triumph still if thou abide with me. You crescendo there. And so you, you can just feel so powerfully from within you St. Paul's, <laughs> and that's a taunting of death. Teaching children hymns in Catholic schools is a fantastic way to teach music, poetry, theology, and community all in one and lead them down a road of liturgical participation just as parishioners or as liturgists, choir members, cantors, organists, to spark that love of sacred music that the church needs to have in, in the faithful if the musical tradition of the church is to be preserved.